Welcome to Emily Life Online tutorial. Before us is this question the gravitational field. And it said the planet has a mass m1 and is at a distance r1 from the sun. Now the second planet has mass m2, which is equal to the product of 10 and m1, and is at a distance of r2, which is 2 times r1 from the sun now determine the ratio of the gravitational force experienced by the planets all right let's recall that uh, the gravitational force is given by this equation f equals to g which is the gravitational constant then m1 m2 which are the two masses then all over r raised to the power of 2 which is the square of the distance of uh, separation okay now for the first for the first uh for the first uh planet okay which has mass one and is at a distance from the sun so we assume that uh, m1 here this is for the first for the first planet planet one okay and in this case now we have to change uh, let's say this one to mass of the sun and here m1 okay now this for the planet one now for the planet two we have f2 then equals g now mass of the sun then m2 all over r okay so two should be one then this one should be two raised to the power of two okay now but we know that from the question that uh, m2 equals uh 10 times m1 so we can rewrite f2 here now to give us g ms that is the mass of the sun and m2 here will give us 10 m1 okay then all over then r2 is 2 times r1 so here we have 2 r1 or is the power of part 2 okay now f1 still stands the same okay all right now we are told to find the ratio of the two forces now let us recall that if x ratio y if x is um, if x ratio y then it implies that this is same thing as saying x all over y okay now this is in ratio and this is in fraction so both of them are the same thing so we can also say that uh, if f1 ratio f2 is given as this expression it can also be f1 all over f2 okay now to that end so let us uh, apply this rule here so we can see f1 now which is equal to g m s m1 all over r1 rich power 2 then all over f2 which is uh, g m s 10 m1 all over 2 r 1 all squared okay all right now if this is true now let us begin to simplify the process okay now by simplifying the process here so we can see that this is f1 then equals to g m sub s m sub 1 all over r square sub 1 now which also implies here that this is division right now divided to divided by f2 which is equals to g m sub x 10 m1 all over 2 r raised to the power i mean 2 r raised to the power of 2 
then M1, right? Okay, so to this end here, sorry, this is meant to be the square outside. Okay, all right, now to this end, we can now see this is F1 all over F2, right? Then equals now G M sub S M1 all over r square one then uh times open this so we have to flip this uh fraction here because of uh the division so here we have uh, and this one r two r one raised power two give us four r square raised power one okay so here we have four r raised to the power of 1, r raised to the power of 2, sub 1, all over g, m, s, 10, m, 1. Alright? Okay, so to this end now, we can now, you know, eliminate terms that are likes. So, g, we eliminate g, m sub s, we eliminate m sub s, m sub 1, we eliminate m sub 1, then r1 square will eliminate r1 square so we are now left with uh, 4 all over 10 now 2 here 2 2 here 5 so sorry this one is f2 so f1 all over f2 now will give us 2 all over what 5 okay now and take note that we said the fraction here can be likened to this ratio. So we can say that F1 ratio F2 equals 2 ratio 5. Alright, this is the final answer. And if you love it, have done, don't kind of subscribe to my YouTube channel and ensure you click on the location button to be notified of all my videos in physics and mathematics. Thank you and God bless you.